All right, welcome back to Fast Gadgets. So what we're going to do today is upgrade to Fedora 24. So if I go ahead and run um, a terminal and start a new window, <clears throat> and I type in uname-r, you can see that I'm currently on Fedora Core 23. So what I'm going to do before I actually do the upgrade is make sure that my system is up to date per the instructions that they have here on fedoraproject.org. And the other thing I want to check is I want to make sure that Fedora 24 is actually live, that they've actually put it into production. So I'm going to click the download now link and they are still downloading Fedora 23 so I'm going to have to wait there may have been a delay so I'm going to go to the Fedora 24 page and check and see usually they have on their site here yeah here it is so it is supposed to be publicly available today, but it doesn't look like it is. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer, but uh, basically I want to make sure that the release is official. And it appears that if I try to do a download, it is not downloading uh, Fedora 24. It's still downloading Fedora 23. So on the uh, upgrade, the type of upgrade that I'm going to do um, is using DNF to upgrade Fedora. So all I have to do is on this line change the release version to 24. And I could do an upgrade right now and it would basically give me the current Rawhide version which I discussed in a previous video. Um, the problem with rawhide versions is that they are uh, definitely not ready for prime time. It's the daily uh, compile of Fedora, so it would not be ready yet for me. And if I look here, I'm doing my update, and it's about to finish the cleanup. So my system will be all ready to go. I'll check back later tonight and see if they release... Uh, Fedora 24 because they still have the schedule as uh, 21st June so I'm kind of hoping that it's still going to be released tonight but we'll find out well good news everybody so it looks like if we go back to fedoraproject.org if I do a download now on the workstation Sorry, I just tried this on another system, so let's get a refresh. We're now downloading Fedora 24 workstation, so we should be ready to do the uh, Fedora 24 update. And because I'm running Fedora 23, all I have to do is install the plugin system upgrade. So I'll just grab this text right here. And I will paste it in my command line. I'll move this up a little bit more so you can see it. So we're grabbing the upgrade plugin so we don't even have to download an ISO and burn it onto uh, a disk or put it on a USB media. So now we're going to grab this piece. But of course, <clears throat> I need to change the version to 24. So at the end, I'm going to put 24. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do dash Y for yes. And what it's going to do is go through all of my repositories. 
and it will download uh, the system upgrade <coughs> of Fedora 24. <coughs> One thing to keep in mind, there used to be a tool called FedUp uh, that would allow you to do an upgrade from a previous version of Zora to the newest version, but you do not want to use FedUp anymore. The proper way to do it is using DNF. So if you want information on how to do that, I just did a search. Um, I'll provide this URL as well in... Um, the information about the video. Uh, looks like it ran into a problem. Let's see what it's saying. So it looks like it's having an error because of VirtualBox. So I'm going to try the method they recommend, which is allow erasing, which basically says if a package is in conflict with another package um, because there's a newer version trying that is uh, being installed by a certain repository, um, <clears throat> go ahead and erase the older one. Um, I haven't had this actually work, so let's see what happens. I may have to disable my other repositories in order to get this to work. Nope, looks like this time it's going to work, so allow erasing did work. So the total download size is 2 gigabytes, which of course is what you would get on an um, uh, ISO download. And I put in the dash Y into my command, which basically tells it to go ahead and do it. You don't need to wait. So what's going to happen is it's going to go through and do the download of all of the components for Fedora 24. And according to this, there's 2,452 components. Um, these are all RPM packages. So when it's all done, um, it's going to prompt me that if I reboot my system, it will begin the Fedora 24 install. So I'm going to let it download all these packages, and when it gets done, we'll be right back. So it's got one package that wasn't signed this is this is one of the problems with uh, DNF. Um, it'll throw an error even if there's one package. Yum! I could do skip broken and get past this issue, uh, but you have to do quite a lot more now. All right. Well, we're trying this again. I used a switch that was a part of Yum. Um, it was dash dash no GPG check. And basically what that switch did was allow me to bypass any packages that did not have a signature. So I could opt for not installing that package, and if I have to, I will go back and do that. The package that did not install was this one right here. Um, so with that no GPG check, I was able to get it to download and prepare for install. So... Um, in order to complete it, I need to have the system do a reboot. So all I have to do now is issue DNF system-upgrade reboot. And it's going to reboot my system and begin the installation. So the text-only mode on the system is going to be very, very tiny. Uh, I'm not even sure if you're going to see it at all, but we're going to try, okay? The problem with this particular laptop is that it's a high DPI display, so basically um, 
it's very, very difficult to see the text. Um, I can't do scaling in this particular installation mode. Okay, so um, it says upgrading, and then the packages that it's upgrading are flashing across the screen. It says, looks like 4,809 packages to install. Um, so it's either going to do an upgrade and installation and there were at least a few packages that were going to be removed uh, for whatever reason they may not be compatible or needed with Fedora 24. So it is now on package 173 of 4,809 so it probably will not take very long. Okay I've moved the camera a little bit so hopefully you can see this. It's at about 450 packages now of uh, 4,809, so it's doing pretty good. Uh, what I would expect, honestly, from <clears throat> an i7 system. So, I'm thinking it's probably going to take maybe 30 or 40 minutes uh, to do this part. Hopefully not too long. Okay, it just wrapped up uh, doing the verification process, and it's now rebooting. And before it goes on, I'm just going to have a look at the kernels and see which one it selected. So, it selected Fedora 24 Workstation Edition, and the kernel is 4.5.7-300, FC24. So we're going to go ahead and try and boot in and see what happens. So far, so good. All right. Type in my password. Everything looks really good. Uh, I guess the tail will be to try running a few applications. Okay, so it's restoring my tabs in Firefox, which is awesome. So those were the tabs I had open before I did the upgrade. And I'm going to launch a terminal. And if I do a uname-r once again, uh, I get the kernel name. And let's try a dash a. 4.5.7-300, kernel 24, uh, symmetrical multiprocessor, awesome. Now the one program that I use quite often is Caden Live, so let's just launch it and see if it is working. Uh, I see that I've got to make a adjustment for the font. It's very, very tiny, which is easy to fix, and I have shown that in one of my previous videos. Uh, I just want to test loading one of my previous videos. It's so tiny I can hardly read it. Your project file was upgraded to the latest Caden Live document version. To make sure you don't lose data, backup copy called Homemark Caden Live my file name dot backup was created. Well, that's good. So if I maximize this, let's see if we can play a chunk of this. And see you next time. Watching and see you next time. Watching and see you next time. Watching and see you next time. Let's see. So just so you know, if you're a Caden Live user, there is a setting. under configure Caden Live and it is under environment uh, processing threads I've set to one and when I do that I usually get a much better cleaner playback so I'm gonna do a quick save <clears throat> and let's see if we get a clean playback now see you next time yeah there we go
Awesome. Everything's looking good. And we'll just have a quick look. Yep, there's all my downloads. Uh, my thumb drive is okay. All my documents are still there. So, successful upgrade. Um, I'm going to go through and find out what exactly Fedora 24 offers me. I know that I'm on a newer version of GNOME 3. It is now 3.2. And if I actually run the RPM command and do a query all and grep on GNOME, You can see that the version being reported is 3.20.0-1. Uh, so uh, GNOME definitely got an update. And many of the other packages got updates as well. But that, in essence, is an upgrade to Fedora 24 using DNF. Pretty simple, straightforward procedure. Uh, if you're on a current version of Fedora, I think you can go back to like 21 or 22 and you would be okay. So um, one thing I'm always curious about after I do my upgrade is, are there any updates? Technically there shouldn't be, um, but you know there's going to be quite a few updates that are going to come out uh, fairly quickly uh, because there's probably still more bugs being discovered. So let's do a DNF update and I'm not going to do a dash Y I just want to get a look really quick and see if there's any updates oh good so basically none uh, Fedora handbrake's the only one that it's not able to update right now so there you go hope you enjoyed the video um, that's the easiest way to upgrade to Fedora 24 the install would be very similar to Fedora 23. So in a coming video I will be talking about um, what's new in Fedora 24. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.